So, hello everyone and welcome on this podcast in which we're gonna be talking about Save Red Dead Online movement and how it's going. My guest today is a professional and as always at the background I will be doing something unchallenging in in Red Dead Online, just the background and obviously I'm gonna be focused on a conversation. And as always I'm taking a look on chat but you know, as I've said, uh, main focus is on conversation. So, uh, and hello to anyone who joined. Uh, hello, Patrick. H- how are you doing? Hey, man. How are you? Good. And uh, we we have a lot to discuss. I just w- need to make it clear that we we plan to make this podcast like few days be- before uh, with Patrick, but then decided to wait a little bit, like what Rockstar will say. And uh, actually, what Rockstar have done was a little bit unexpected to me. Uh, just a reminder to anyone who just joined and maybe don't know what's going on. Save Red Dead Online is a hashtag that uh, fans of Red Dead Online started to use on Twitter. It's trending for more than a week now. And what happens this week is Rockstar haven't posted any sort of a response. On th- on Thursdays, they haven't posted a newswire about GTA Online, despite the fact that there was a weekly update. And on Friday, they just posted this newswire about GTA Online weekly update, without mentioning Red Dead Online at all, like nothing was happened, which is, in my opinion, unusual. But what do you think, Patrick? Haven't you found it unusual, or you expected something like this? I, I found it a little bit unusual that they didn't do a newswire post on um, Thursday for GTA, but then they did it the next day on Friday. I think that they were probably hoping that the whole save Red Dead Online thing would die down. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it was obvious for them that it's uh, it, it will be strong, uh, because on Thursday in the morning, I believe, they, they made this few weird tweets, like uh, basically making an emotes replying with emotes to different uh, non-related to save red dead online topics and they received a lot of save red dead online in the comments so i'm pretty sure they sh- at least uh when when they release this weekly update for gt online they should have known that it's still going strong and doesn't matter when they will post this news why about gt online they will receive like uh, a lot of comments of save Red Dead Online, which actually happened. So I, I don't really see the logic behind this. Well, like, look, here is what I think. I think they they made some sort of a meeting in this public relation department, and they were like, what, what shall we do? Like, discussing some sort of a strategy, and then decided just, ah, oh, whatever, let's post it anyway, who cares? Something like this happened. What 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 do you think? What is your take? I think they're just ignoring it. They're just um uh they just think that if they don't uh they don't say anything about it that eventually it'll, it's going to go away. But uh I think this is different. Uh this is like I'm just so proud of the Red Dead community for just um you know standing up for the game this way and showing that people care about this game and uh this yeah. is like you know standing up to one of those developers that just never communicates whatsoever to their uh fans and it's getting to the point where they're going to have to say something eventually. Do they? Uh, like, maybe they will completely ignore it. Like, like it never happened. Pretend like it was not a thing. And uh, I've heard that... Uh, I, I'm not sure if it's true. It's just something that I've heard. That on Facebook, they simply deleted all the replies with save Red Dead Online hashtag. Yeah, I, I heard about... I saw I saw a few comments about that actually on my videos. But um, I don't use Facebook, so I yes. don't know. I wasn't... Uh, I wasn't able to find an article on that, but is anybody able to confirm that? Did they really like delete comments on their Facebook for Save Red Dead Online? I, I I just saw a lot of unrelated comments, but I don't use Facebook as well. But but let's see, yeah, maybe in either. chat someone will um, confirm it. But I mean, in any way, even if they haven't done it or not, like they might just completely continue ignoring it. Like doing nothing, releasing usual posts about GD Online, retweeting some DJs, you know, Circolo Records posts, like they, they like they always do. So, uh, do you think it's unlikely that they will choose this type of behavior? 
I mean, it's. I think they think that they're Rockstar, and I think they think that they're too big to fail. It's, yeah. Rockstar has lately become a very um, uh, arrogant developer, and the fact that um, uh, was it? Uh, I remember I, I saw Swegta's tweet in which he said that um, he said about the the guitar tweet that they made on GT Online that like somebody at Rockstar thought that this was a good idea mm -hmm. to just tweet this out, but like something completely unrelated, despite like all the backlash, it just shows like how out of touch they are. I actually don't think they that stupid. I think they were testing. Testing if they've read that online uh, movement is still strong. They tested it and saw a backlash and like decided not to post a uh, news why about GD Online on Thursday. Because usually they post the same day, especially since there was a new, actually new content this time in GD Online. Actually, I saw uh, comments uh, about Facebook that yes, they must delete such comments on Facebook. But uh, another statement is also true. Mystic X says, who uses Facebook in 2022? <laughs> Not me, but someone does. And uh, Rockstar does apparently as well. And they delete comments there. So there is a strong censorship. So, like, what do you think? Maybe they will continue with the same strategy. Yeah, because they think they are too big to fail. I mean, look, they released this GTA Definitive Edition took 60 bucks from people and like and they're absolutely fine despite all this backlash despite all this scandal uh, so maybe they think they will get away with uh, with save red dead online with ignoring save red dead online as well i think that um uh, i remember with their apology on the gta trilogy it was like one of the worst apologies that i've seen it wasn't yeah. really even apology and they weren't even offering people like full refunds for it they were offering like i think pc players partial refunds and then they uh they said that pc players will like get the original gta trilogy for free but yeah yeah, but the thing is, though, is that almost all PC players that bought GTA Definitive Edition already had the original GTA trilogy. They already owned all those uh, classic games. But why and do so you need all... why do you need original if you already bought a remade version, which is supposed to be better? Like uh, this this yeah. gift b gift made no sense to me when I saw it. Like, it was like a trolling, because, <laughs> I don't know, maybe something is wrong with me, but quite often I see what, when Rockstar is doing something, I see it as a trolling, because, like, giving as a, uh, you know, this bonus, say, kind of saying, I'm sorry bonus, uh, an old version of a game that this person just bought for 60 bucks and, not, and it not working properly, it, it's just... It's weird. It's some. It's surreal, in my opinion. I I don't know, but yeah, you, you're correct. They had this, and they thought it's a good idea, probably. So maybe they are thinking that ignoring this is also a good idea. But okay, like uh, one question that like uh, I I have no answer. But why not just give some sort of a reply? They made an apology with GTA Trilogy. Yeah, it was a kind of stupid apology, but they did it. Why not making the same thing right here? You know, post something like, oh, we are sorry, terribly sorry, or we are looking into future, uh, this game will continue to evolve constantly and develop, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, why not I make think it? That it? I think there's a few reasons. I think the first one is um, arrogance, because Rockstar, Rockstar has always been a very secretive company. Like they haven't even like ever showed games like E3 or stuff like that. When it comes to revealing games, okay, that's fine to be secretive about. But when it comes to actually like supporting an online game and like you actually should be talking to your fans, it's because that's like so out of date what they're doing. They should actually communicate. I think that also another reason is I think it's Take Two. And I think that if they were to admit that they were wrong, they might have to, uh, they might feel like they might have to reply to more people more often. And they don't want to do that. And also because Take-Two Interactive might be pressuring them not to reply, because if they actually do admit that they messed up and that they basically screwed this game over, their stock price might um, go down. And that might not be, Take-Two might not be happy about that. 
And also on top of that, if they do reply, because they might already have set it in stone that they have no plans for this game. They might like already have, okay, we're not making any more content for this game. We're just going to do monthly updates and hope that the players keep, still keep buying gold bars. If they um, come out and say, you know, that we're not going to support this game anymore, then a ton of people are going to stop playing this and that's going to be less gold bars for them. So even though, you know, they're barely supporting Reddit Online, they're still trying to milk the game as much as possible. So they're just basically almost like an experiment. They want to see how much, how little content they can make and how much profit they can still make from it. Actually, you know what? Uh, I, I, again, I'm not quite sure if it's true because I, I, I'm I, not an authority in these legal questions, but I've heard that if they will officially make a statement that they are not supporting this game anymore, uh, they cannot legally sell gold bars according to some rules in UK, UK I mm. believe. So there is no way they will so say something like this because for them it's, it's better just to to do nothing. I don't know about that. I I, I don't know because I know there are video games, online games, that don't um, uh, have any more DLC coming out for them and yet they still sell microtransactions. Um, but they haven't said know, officially that like we're done with game. It's it's. I guess they this. haven't said it. Yeah. Um, uh, they've uh, they've uh, made a uh, they've made sequels and they support the sequels, but they don't support the original, which still has microtransactions. Like I know Ghost Recon Wildlands. I'm pretty sure that game still has like microtransactions that you can buy and yet the game isn't supported anymore they just do breakpoint now mm -hmm. May maybe not true i see in the comment so i i'm not quite sure about this aspect about uh the legal side of the job but in any way i'm pretty sure they will they will not reply with with even if they planning to stop supporting it they will not do it because they can tell us that we can expect some big updates and you know release some 10 new levels for trader role in a summer and that's it and basically what they will achieve by doing that by actually fooling the community is pretty much the same result but they for now uh this movement will be you know Concret oh. and in the future there will be I'm pretty sure I don't know maybe it's pessimistic But I'm pretty sure that it's uh, like a, the last chance for it that online community because I don't see uh, In the future repeatment of such movement because now it's much bigger than clown movement It's way bigger and way more successful and community now is much more united and if it will uh, will slow down. I don't think it that it can ever repeat again, but it just might take w What do you think was the way? Because, I, I just yeah. just sorry. I just looked oxygen said that battlefield 5 still sells microtransactions Even though it had all content development officially ended and I remember they specifically said they're not supporting the game anymore mm. So that is so a, yeah, uh, so it's, it's not a reason that, uh, Yeah but this is, I agree with you, this is the last, this is really the last chance to save Reddit online. Like, it's, there's, like, I don't think there's going to be a second chance after this. This is the last chance. Um, this is bigger than the clown movement. Like, when this dies down, if that ever happens, then um, uh, there's never going to be, like, really that much, like, community members that are going to get together and just uh, try to revive this game. But, no, it's just rot. Rockstar is such a terrible state right now. And it, it just honestly pisses me off so much that they, they... They still, they act like they want, they're supporting the game. They act like they still care for the game. But in reality, you, me and you both know they really don't care about the game. And yeah. they're just trying to milk it as much as possible. So that, that pisses me off. If, they, if they're not going to support the game anymore, they should just come out and say that we're not going to support the game anymore. Because what they're doing is just absolute scumbag right now. It's scummy to abandon the game. But it's even, I think it's even more scummier just to pretend like they care when they don't. Yeah, and I mean... There is another side of this problem. For me, it makes no sense. Like, their behavior makes no sense. Why? Uh, they never actually tried to make any money on Red Dead Online. They never... Because, you know, if you want to make money on a game, what should you do? The answer is obvious. You should provide customers with what they want, what they demand. Like, no one was asking for naturalists. No one was asking for blood money. And... No one was asking for a lot of stuff that they added. So they, it, it, it almost looks like they never even tried that hard uh, with Red Dead Online. And for me, only explanation always was like they are waiting until next gen consoles will be uh, quite popular. But 
now it's more than a year since next gen consoles were released and we still uh hear nothing about you know next gen patch or something like this so now it makes no sense at all um by the way ha uh, since we mentioned this have you heard this rumor about gta 5 being mo removed a little further uh what you mean delayed yeah delayed and uh yeah i heard i heard about the rumor but i didn't really read into it yeah it's a, you know source is uh not a valuable or trustable from what i can tell but still it's an interesting if if it's true uh it might actually explain why red dead online is not receiving any attention at all but it will not tell us anything about the future of red dead online in any way um but what what do you think will happen like your prediction about save red dead online like next few weeks will we see any sort of a response from rockstar not direct I think not even direct maybe they will you know like they did with clown movement uh not, not like they did but like happened with clown movement a few lays, weeks later they will post something about future of the game not mentioning the save red dead online at all yeah I think that one of two things is going to happen. I think either one, they're going to continue to keep ignoring this, and um, uh, then they're just going to maybe eventually release another update, but if they do, it's just going to be another joke like Blood Money. Or two, they will actually release a decently sized update, but if they do release a decently sized update, I cannot imagine them at all like um, uh, responding to this save Reddit online thing or apologizing. If anything, my prediction is they just might make a post in the newswire and just might say, oh, guys, it's like a big update coming out this month or whatever. Um, here's like a little bit teaser of it. And they might just write in the newswire, new role, this or that or whatever it is. And they will not acknowledge save Reddit online at all, but we'll know that it was because of save Reddit online. Yeah, actually, I see like no chance at all uh, that Rockstar will mention save red dead online like ever i don't think they will do it but to me it looks like they could have tried to pretend like they listen into the community and actually uh like talk about save red dead online somehow in some form but they're just not that type of company they will not <laughs> not uh, do something like this and they never did from what I can tell. But uh, what do you think is more likely? You said these two options, but what is your personal prediction? What will likely happen? More likely. I think the, um, uh, probably the first one, I think that they'll just, they'll just continue to keep ignoring it and they'll either release no updates or they'll just release like joke updates like Blood Money. Um, you know, I can't, I, I can't really see them releasing a large update on this game anymore. I really do want it, and I hope it happens. But like the large, the last time we got a large update was Moonshiners. Like, I, I don't even really count Naturalist as a really large update. So it's just, I, I don't, I, I can't see them, you know, making another large update after you know two years now. Unfortunately, it sounds like it, it, it looks like true, like something that will, will happen. But anyway, uh. It's, it's still pretty cool because I, I don't know if you are aware or not, but I had a sort of a discussion with GTA uh, man uh, on last last week on a, on a podcast. And he uh, he's really pessimistic and that's why he says that there is no point in making Save Red Dead Online at all because it's not going to change anything. I uh, think there is a point, uh, though, because... It's I I don't know. You have you seen my video on like when I talked about how Red Dead uh, Rockstar has officially killed Red Dead Online? It's like an hour long. Yeah, it's a big it's one. Yeah, half a million views. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that video. Um, I talked about it in that video, and I actually addressed this point because like there's people that say, oh, you know, you're you're um save Red Dead Online thing or whatever. It's it's not going to do anything, and this blah 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 this. But you know, my reasoning is, even if it does nothing. Even if like the Rockstar does not make like a DLC or whatever, it is accomplishing something. And what it's accomplishing is it's showing how much more of a scumbag Rockstar Games and Take Two are. Not that the not the small like developers, but the actual bosses, the people in charge. Because this is destroying their credibility and this is destroying their reputation and it's it, it is hurting their companies because all the gaming media is now covering it. The gaming media is making them look like crap. The gaming media was previously silent on this. More people are aware of this. You know, they had the GTA Definitive Edition disaster. Now they have this disaster. 
So, you know, this is not good PR for Rockstar. And um, I posted that on his um, YouTube video. I actually said that even if it does, does nothing, it does accomplish something that it hurts their PR, it, you know, public relations. It, does, it doesn't make them look good as a company. And um, I think that that's, you know, that's better than doing nothing. Yeah, it's like, you know, posting a bad review when you bought something that was not... I'm not saying that Red Dead Online is not good. I still think that this is a amazing game, but it, it's the same type of... Uh, same mechanic. When you disappointed with some company, for example, or product in this in this case, company, you try to share your opinion. And uh, it's part... Uh, part of the reason why a lot of people are posting save red that online to share their opinion and their disappointment with rockstar not even with red that online obviously and the other part is like another reason is at least for me you know it's it's worth trying it's not that hard to do uh but it's not only expressing your emotions but who knows maybe there is a small chance but actually, community is not like most people in the community don't even think that this chance is any significant. Unfortunately, so much uh, will disappoint it in Rockstar lately. But who knows? Maybe it will. Who knows? Maybe you, they will uh, change our opinion. Yeah. Sorry. What do you think about the people that? Like, there's people out there that I've seen that, like, don't even play Red Dead Online. Or if they play Red Dead Online, they barely play Red Dead Online. And they act like everything is fine. They defend Rockstar on this. Yeah. And they say that, oh, you Red Dead players get your fair share of updates. I don't know what you're complaining about and why you're causing drama and all this other stuff. I, I, I've uh, literally seen comments like this. I saw a lot of com comments like this. And actually, I I saw you, I believe. Yeah, it was you. Uh, you were arguing with some GD Online YouTuber. Uh, who who said something like this, and he was really uh, like negative about Save Red Dead Online, yep. and uh, he was he was making some arguments that were clearly showing that he was never playing Red Dead Online at all. Like, oh, the community in Red Dead Online is so toxic. I'm getting griefed like every time I join uh, a lobby, not like in GTA Online. And I was like, R really. Uh, it's it's nonsense, but but anyway, I saw such comments quite often, and I don't understand it to be honest. I mean, let's say you play. Uh, first of all, I I need to say something. A lot of only GTA Online players, players who never played Red Dead Redemption or Red Dead Online, they still support this movement, and I saw a lot of s such examples like. So it's not like all GTA Online players are hating Save Red Dead Online. No, uh, minority of GTA Online players are <clears throat> on on this position of just hating Save Red Dead Online movement. But as for those who are doing it, I don't really understand. It seems like they are afraid that if Red Dead Online will be supported, uh, GTA Online might die. Or, or something like this, but it's just it's just not something that will happen just because you know GTA Online still brings so much money to Rockstar. So, what will they support Red Dead Online, or they will abandon it? Not much will be changed for uh, GTA Online, in my opinion. So, I I don't think uh, that this reason is uh, valuable here, but. Maybe they have other reasons, who knows, but uh, the only logical one is this. They are afraid that GD Online might get neglected if Rockstar will, you know, switch this attention to Red Dead how, Online. How ironic is that, because um, when Red Dead Online was first coming out back in 2018, um, fall 2018, I remember specifically seeing a bunch of comments of people just complaining and just saying they don't understand what people are being hyped for. And they're saying that, oh, when Reddit Online comes out, GT Online is going to be screwed over. GT Online is not going to get any updates and just complaining endlessly about that. And then when Reddit Online came out, GT Online still was getting fairly updated. And then eventually, you know, after a, like a year of just Reddit Online being out, Reddit Online started being neglected really badly. And these same players that were saying that GT Online is going to be neglected and screwed over, they are perfectly fine with Reddit Online being neglected themselves. And that just makes them just massive hypocrites on that issue. Um, I don't I don't get it. And I seen I had this one guy that I argued with, and it's unfortunate because he actually ended up deleting all of his um, Twitter posts. Maybe he was a troll, but he actually had told me, I told him that 
you know, you, the reason that you don't have GTA 6 and the reason you don't, you don't even have a, any kind of announcement is because of two reasons. It's because Rockstar keeps milking GTA Online and also because of GTA Expanded and Enhanced. If they're releasing GTA 5 on PS5 and Xbox Series X like this year, they have no plans to make GTA on, um, 6 anytime soon because they're just going to keep milking GTA Online on next-gen consoles through that. And this guy was like, no, 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 no. No, GTA at Rockstar, it makes sense for Rockstar to re-release um, GTA 5 because it's one of their best-selling games and also makes sense for them to uh, keep updating GTA Online because it makes them a lot of money. That's not why GTA 6 isn't coming out. It's because of, they took stupid Red Dead Redemption 2 years and years to, um, to keep making and i was like looking at this guy's comments i was like oh my god i was like what the hell is this guy talking about or like you're blaming red dead online for gta 6 not coming out when it's uh, uh, it's gta online and gta 5 expanded and enhanced are way more at fault for that yeah but uh, i mean even if he's correct and it's red dead redemption 2 is the reason why gta 6 was not still released i think it's worth it because red dead redemption 2 is a masterpiece uh, so it's not only Red Dead Online, right? Most of the effort went to Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, Red Dead Online received uncomparably small amount of money and effort and all of that, comparing, you know, comparing to Red Dead Redemption 2. But anyway, you know what I just thought? Maybe, uh, since you said about GTA 6, what do you think? Maybe the reason why they are not rushing up with uh, GTA 6 is this mobile games uh, you know they bought zynga for almost 13 billion dollars uh, obviously with i i've listened to the investors calls and they are like saying strauss zelnik and say is saying we're gonna bring our beloved ips on the mobile market obviously talking about gta in the first place uh, but maybe it's the reason why they are not rushing with gta 6 they want it uh, to wait until they will be capable of of taking part of this mobile market with the release of GTA 6. I don't know what it will it be, GTA 6 Mobile or something like this. Uh, but their plan is to wait a little bit until they will finish all this stuff with Zynga to make sure that you no know, GTA 6 Mobile will happen. I, I, I honestly can't see something like GTA 6 um, uh, being released on mobile because GTA 6 would be just such a high demanding game. I doubt that like smartphones would be able to handle it. Um, I oh, think it's, anything, sorry. It's, they... uh, I, I will make a uh, correction to my to what I said. It's not going to be the same game as GTA 6. It's just like, you know, like Call of Duty. Uh, Modern well, Warfare yeah, right. and Call of Duty Mobile. Same title, they, same name, but different games, kind of, just to they sell might them just better. Make, like, another, they may, might make another game like GTA Chinatown Wars, and they might make like a separate GTA game for mobile. That's, mm -hmm. what, um, uh, that's what might end up happening, like stuff like that. Yeah, but do you think it's likely? Yeah, because it's like... Grand Theft Auto is like the Call of Duty like um, series in a way, because... Anything Grand Theft Auto is going to sell millions, even if it's like, um, even if it's a mobile game. Like, I mean, look at Call of Duty Mobile. Like, I know people don't like it, but even that game like got downloaded just so much, and people, a lot of people, still still play that game. So it's um anything yeah. that Grand Theft Auto related, even if it's on mobile, it, it's gonna sell a lot. It's insanely profitable. I've heard that it's bringing like insane money to ten cent. I even saw some sort of a like statistics and uh, like huge amount of money and and i really think that gta can repeat the same results but not like i'm I, i'm i'm gonna say it I'm not like i'm looking for gta or red dead redemption on mobile i'm just saying that probably they will be profitable and really profitable and it might be a smart idea for take two to do this not sure if it's worth 13 billion but they obviously see it better. But, oh, I saw a comment from Mango Madness, NFT Franklin. What do you think, uh, Patrick, about NFTs? Will oh, well, they do it? I mean, I'm, I don't, um, I, I don't, I don't actually know that much about it, honestly. Isn't that like, isn't that like a mic, um, crypt, it's a cryptocurrency, right? 
not like currency, but it's like a, uh, like a crypto art, rather something that is unique. So, so some unique items, like in in a few words, in games that like cannot be copied. Well, technically they can be copied, but uh, there will be a copy. But I know that just... South Park was making fun of it recently, um, uh, a lot, but. Uh, I I really don't I really don't know really what it what it is that much so I I can't even speak. But I mean, I just know uh, people really don't like it. That's what I just know. Yeah, people don't like it. But the question is, uh, can take to go like further and implement something like this? In your opinion? Oh, I'm not sup I'm, I would not be surprised. This Take Two is a very greedy company. Yeah, they they obviously are. Um, I um. Yeah. I did also want to say, um, I, I just remembered, like, I don't understand, like, these, the, when these comments of, like, the people that are, like, you know, defending Rockstar and, like, saying, like, you know, it's good for business, Reddit Online is getting screwed and just, you know, this is welcome to the world of business or whatever, blah, 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 this. I don't understand these people because it's, like, if they don't support the, you know, save Reddit Online thing, okay, then, you know, just stay out of it. But the fact that they like actually are getting into it, like and defending like a multi-billion dollar greedy corporation that does not care anything about it and just going out of their way just to make these tweets and just um, attack the people that actually want a decently fair, fair sized update. I just don't get it. Um, why people do that. I, I like to be honest, I don't see too many people doing that defending Rockstar. It's like in my opinion, there are like not so many Rockstar fanboys left already because Rockstar were working on this, working heavily, making sure that there will be as few fans as possible. So mostly I see is like people supporting this movement, especially in Red Dead Online community, obviously. Yeah. But well, you saw those. Um, you saw that Twitter argument. You you mentioned it before that I had with that GTA YouTuber. Not going to make any names, but mm -hmm. uh, you saw the whole argument that I had, right? Yeah. Well, you know, there was that one point when you know he just kept telling me that like Reddit Online is like fairly supported. You guys get your fair share of updates. Yeah. I don't know what you're complaining about and all. And the thing is, though, you know, what what was starting to annoy me in that whole conversation was that. This guy doesn't even play Reddit Online. I mean, he, he does have it, to be fair, and he did play it a little bit, but he barely plays it. I never see any Reddit content on his channel. You know, this this guy just does not play Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2 at all, and yet he's speaking like he's an expert. Like, he's he knows better than the people that have been playing this since day one. He knows better than the people that are, like, well over rank plus 400 on Reddit Online. And I, I just found that ridiculous that you can try to see, you think that you know better than the people that have been playing on the game since day one. And I was trying really hard in that conversation. I was trying to be patient, and I was trying really hard not to say to him that, you know, you don't play this game. But eventually, like, I ended up saying it to him because he kept telling me that it's always, you know, it's, it's not neglected. And I said to him, if it's not neglected, then why don't we why don't we have an answer to the Jessica LeClerc story two and a half years later? And I did not get any kind of reply. He ignored that point that I made, and it proceeded to call me toxic. And um, uh, that was just, it, it just changed to a personal attack at that point. And I, I I just found that ridiculous. Um, and actually, you know, like this, yeah. Jessica Leclerc argument is not even the strongest one because there are so more, uh, so oh, much no, more I, different. Oh no, I agree with you. Yeah. But the Jessica Leclerc, if you wanna, if you wanna point to the game being neglected, the Jessica Leclerc storyline is like one of the best points that you can make because two and a half years later, and there's still no answer on that. That's, I think that that that's that's a pretty good point that it's um uh, to make. Yeah, uh, but there are a lot of awesome mechanics and stuff, and I mean, just the facts, like, take a look how many uh, updates happened in Red Dead Online in 2020, and overall size of these updates, which is only one update and pretty small, and what happened to GTA Online in 2021, so it's, it's hard to compare, and, like, it's not even, not even comparing to GTA Online. Red Dead Online is kind of neglected if we will compare it to other online games like Fallout 76, Elder Scrolls, like pretty much anything that is still active. So I, I, I don't even know how people can argue that uh, Red Dead Online was neglected and not receiving much attention. And uh, 
Uh, but to be honest, I mean, I, I don't see too many people who, who signs this. But still, yeah, but because if, if someone has a popular account on YouTube or on Twitter, he, you know, speaks it loudly, but it's not like he's representing white audience in, in this particular... Uh, with this particular statement, it's, it's just oh, my. Oh no, opinion. I understand, but it it, it it just it just kind of baffled me that like yeah. somebody that you know somebody that barely plays the game is going to like criticize the uh, Red Dead Online community for wanting a fair sized update um, and just you know try to make them look stupid or just you know tell them that they don't know what they're talking about when the guy doesn't even play the game itself. If 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 I have somebody that tells me that like oh Red Dead Online is the fair is fine the way it is, but they play the game. You know, sure, okay, you know, I still have a disagreement yeah. with them, but at least they play the game a decent amount. But it's another thing if somebody who n almost never plays the game and is telling a player that's played the game since day one, the game is fine the way it is, you don't know what you're talking about. Then I, I think that that's, that's completely stupid at that point. Yeah. Uh, Imagine if, G if Red Dead players just started, like, dictating to, like, um, GT Online players what the game should and shouldn't have. I don't think that GTA players would be too happy about that. Yeah, that's true. But like, it's uh, it's a little bit different situation because you know, from from data that I got, uh, most G Red Dead Online players, at least at some point, played GTA Online, like extremely high percentage, like ninety or something. And uh, it's uh, opposite is not true, like m because very small not very small but small portion of gt online players have ever played red dead online so uh so what i'm trying to say is that most red dead online players played gt online and the four or maybe still playing and the four it's you know point of view on this game actually I don't know how to say it. You got it. They have the right to to speak actually about GTA Online as well because they also play this game. Or at least played many times ago before flying bikes were introduced to the game. But uh, what what is your prediction about like Rockstar strategy? It's, it's, it sounds like a question that I already asked, but I want to specify here. So, as you know, we have monthly updates now, right? And so there will be no changes next week. So what they gonna do? They will just ignore it completely like they ignored on Tuesday, because usually, despite the fact that we had no weekly updates in December, they still posted something. You know, linking to this old Newswire article from 7th of December. But not this Tuesday. They decided to ignore it completely. So they will, like, be radio silent at all. Not mentioning anything. Or they will decide that it's enough of silence and at, and at least start talking something about Red Dead Online. Well, I guess we'll see if they post something on Tuesday. But I think that... Nothing. Um, I think that they're gonna... I think that they're going to just just keep ignoring it because yeah. they might feel like if they respond to it then they then people might feel like rockstar is going to respond to things in the future and rockstar almost never wants to respond to anything so um i don't think that they're going to um uh i don't think they're unfortunately going to going to respond to this but i do still think it's good and i still do think it has a purpose because it is doing something and it's you know destroying their credibility uh, as a company but what do you think will it actually affect uh their financial success in the future the, this process um, that is destroying their credi credi credibility because i i agree with you i think they are losing a lot of reputation right now but will it actually hurt them in the future will they lose money because of it i think they'll lose something yes um i don't know how much but um i know that when the safe reddit online thing happened the stock was falling i know that it's not just because of that i know there's other you know factors stock has gone back up now but um uh i do eventually think that like with like you know enough coverage and like enough like you know talking about this this is like you know been trending on twitter 
Like, you know, Rockstar would have to be complete morons to not um, uh, realize what's going on right now. They know definitely what's going on. They sure. know this, what this hashtag is. And eventually, the investors are going to catch on to this. The investors, they don't, most of the time, the investors don't even play video games. There's just a bunch of old guys in suits. But it's, um, uh, I think eventually, they're going to catch on to this. With enough, like, gaming media coverage and stuff like this, they're going to be like, hey, you know, what, what's this about? Why are people upset over this and stuff? And I don't think that that's going to be necessarily good for them. Yeah, but but the only problem is that uh, like now investors has a lot of other topics to to think about because you know this uh, purchase of Zynga is is extremely huge. So maybe all other problems are nothing compared to it, and maybe there will be no place, no time to ask questions about Red Dead Online on this next investors calls that will happen in like two weeks or something, maybe three weeks at the beginning of February. Uh, but yeah, I, I agree with you that they sh investors should be aware of the situation. Not only Roxer, but at this point, but take two investors as well. Will it help? We will see it. But you mentioned the media coverage and uh, IGN actually reached, uh, reached Rockstar for an answer, reached out them, but and actually tweeted about this twice. But we still don't see any sort of an answer. What do you think? Will they decide to maybe give some something to IGN? Uh, because no, it's not uh, a fan, it's a big media. At least I think that if it... I was actually surprised that IGN actually reached out to comment yeah. on, on that. Because IGN tip d does not do a lot of really good reviews. Um, I remember their Ace Combat 7 review was a disaster. And I really loved that game. But um, uh, I, I cannot see Rockstar really... Um, uh, accepting an interview now because if they accept an interview then there's gonna be tough questions now about this and mm -hmm. we both me and you know that rockstar does not like tough questions whenever and they interviews. do any kind of interview so yeah, never whenever do they it, do actually. whenever they do interviews it, it, it almost seems like it's scripted like they, they know the questions beforehand before the um uh before they're even interviewed it's like they're they're interviewed by some like weird gaming magazines that like nobody has heard of and they, um, uh, it's always like easy questions. Like it's just easy. It's I'm pretty like sure it's scripted. Great. I'm, I'm hundred yeah, percent sure. It's just no way. It's Rockstar not... probably tells them if you want yeah. an interview, you have to give us all your questions ahead of time. If there's one question that they don't like on there, like okay, we're not doing your interview. And like I think that yeah. at this point, I don't think Rockstar is ever going to do an interview again. Now at this point. Yeah, that's why actually they uh, post these so-called interviews only in a small medias. Because big medias have some self, self of a self respect, some sort of a self respect to you know accept the type of because it's not interviews, it's basically press releases, and that's it. All answers and questions were scripted and not by journalist and developer, but somewhere in this public relation department or something. Uh, so it, it always looks pathetic. Like, remember the last interview when they said how uh, Blood Money was a massive success? Oh, and, yeah, that, <laughs> that was stuff. cringe. It was, it was painful to read. I, I don't actually understand what is the purpose of such interviews. Like, there is not a single person who, who's buying it. And uh, not even saying that, like, audience of this uh, media is extremely well, small. Like the purpose stuff. of that, I think, is uh, the opposite of what I was saying, where the whole Save Red Dead Online campaign is to draw attention to it and just, you know, show how much scummy the Rockstar bosses are. Those in interviews are actually the opposite, where they're meant to make the company look good, make the company, uh, make it seem like, you know, they're talking to people, like they're communicating, like it's almost like propaganda in a way, that their game is going fine and yeah. the developer acts like they're going to support the game and everything like that, when in reality they're not. But there is no way they can believe that it's gonna work. I mean, it's so pathetically uh, low quality uh, content. I, I don't, I'm not quite sure if I can call it content, but this content is such a low quality. I'm talking about this interview. There is no, no reason to believe that someone will read it and think like, oh, wow, Rockstar are such a cool guys. They are, they are so proud of Red Dead Online and putting so much effort into it. But, I don't think they can fool anyone with such interviews, so I I don't understand why they are doing it. Maybe you know it worked back in 90s, 
where there were no websites, where this media was actually printed on paper, there were no comments, no ratings, no YouTube channels discussing how, how stupid does it sound, and it used to work back then, and uh, they are using the same strategy like 25 years ago or something, it's, it's only Maybe explanation. It's for their investors. May uh, like, but again, the investors are not reading this. No one reads uh, z that type of media where they usually post these interviews. I don't know how this media still exists, to be honest. Say, like, I saw sometimes they pu publish, you know, statistics how many views they have, how many likes, comments, and it's it's just pathetic. <laughs> like, it's 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 not in numbers. It's not enough to pay salary salary to journalist so i see I um yeah. fingers uh comment there there's proof the pandemic affected red dead and i i i don't really agree with that um uh because if if that is the case then why is gt online getting such massive dlc gt online is getting even bigger dlcs than before the pandemic and yeah. yet um uh yeah and this um this this whole argument that it's because of the pandemic. Okay, well, if GT Online was treated the same way, then I would agree with you. But with the fact that GT Online isn't treated the same way, I don't agree with that. Yeah, it's, this re, this argument about pandemic might uh, sound like something reasonable a year ago, maybe even more. But now, when Kaya Perico happened, when all these up, other updates and in GTA Online happened and all that Red Dead Online received was just pretty much nothing. I don't think it's a valuable argument. It's it's not about pandemic. Anyway, j just smart. Uh, I need to mention that we are getting viewed by 1,133 people. Hello to everyone. Welcome. And uh, yeah, don't forget to place a like if you enjoy this type of uh, this type of podcast and yes obviously link to the professionals channel in a description you obviously know his channel anyways but i just need to mention it uh so the next question it's it's more about gta online what do you think will happen in this expanded and enhanced because i'm curious uh they delayed it once and now there are rumors and yeah i know that it's just the rumors but anyways they delayed it once so what what are they doing here so big and so complicated they had to delay it actually like what will we see there because i i have no idea what will happen with expanded and enhanced do you have any information on on that i am um... I, I I don't know. I mean, they there is a delay rumor going around, but they. Uh, I mean, I I I'm just not ex really excited for that game anymore. I think that it's I think it's being overhyped too much by Rockstar, because it it doesn't look anything to me like it doesn't look anything to me like impressive. It just basically looks like GTA V just reskinned again, just making it look a tiny bit better with a little bit more PC graphics. Uh, I don't really. I, I think that's kind of a scam in a way, unless there's like some kind of like big conspiracy out there that this is not the actual GTA Expanded Enhanced and like this has just like been trolls and the actual game is going to look very different than this. Like Red Dead Redemption 2 version of Rage, something like this? Is that Maybe. Dif different? That's, they would have to re redesign the entire mm -hmm. game though if they were like, if they were doing it like that, but... Yeah, because you know, uh, from... Uh, from what we saw from these trailers, that it's not even a, really a trailer, but anyway, from this promotional material that they showed about GTA V Expanded and Enhanced, it doesn't look like it's, you know, that much amount of work uh, for a, such a big company like Rockstar. So there is no reason to delay it even once, in, in my opinion, because there are not so many differences. Yeah, it looks like uh, my not even my but pc version on a pretty average more than average but you know not on an, on the top pc so far so it's it shouldn't be that hard to do 
but they are delaying it. So it, it's weird. And even more, I've heard, uh, I've seen this rumor, Test 2 was posting it, that Red Dead Online and GDN Online are gonna receive less updates and their updates will be delayed because Rockstar decided to move all these resources, uh, all these developers on fixing GTA Trilogy and finishing GTA 5 Expanded and Enhanced because they are out of time with GTA 5 next gen version. Uh, it's, it, it, you know, it's about uh, GTA Online not receiving updates or updates being delayed, it was not true, but maybe it's true about Red Dead Online at least. What, what do you think? I think if they are, you know, delaying Red Dead Online because they're, you know, fixing the GTA trilogy or they're, um, uh, you know, working on Expanded Enhanced, they have an obligation as they're a developer to actually tell people that on the newswire and actually make like a tweet about it, r reassuring mm -hmm. people that even though Red Dead updates might get delayed, that they're still coming and they're going to be bigger. Um, uh, I don't, you know, understand, like, you know, why they can't just come out in the newswire and just say that, like, we still care about the game. We're still going to make big updates on this game. Do not worry. It might take a little bit longer, but we still promise good updates. You know, they did something like that. I guarantee you a lot more, a lot of people would calm down and people wouldn't be as pissed off, but um, they don't. They just ignore people. They, um, they don't mention any kind of update what's coming out. They have that stupid feedback page for, you know, how many years now. And, you know, what's the point of that if they never even listen to people? Yeah, I'm uh, about feedback page again. It's just my assumption, but I just don't think that they actually look at this page. I think that the suggestions on it from that you leave on a feedback are going directly into the trash bin. Like no one ever, <laughs> no one ever looks at them. That's that's just what yeah. I think. How I feel about this suggestion page I, I Rockstar would have to be stupid to not know what people want in this game yeah i mean they don't need a suggestion page to know what people want it's it's not that hard to figure out but uh, for some reason we receive a naturalist update and and you said that it was a small update i would actually disagree with you i think that in terms of size it was a pretty significant update, way bigger than Moonshiners. Not as big as uh, Frontier Pursuits, obviously, but pre pretty solid. There was a lot of different content. It's just well, not something we it asked. Did, it, it did have content in it, I would agree with you on that, but the content that was there was just not interesting. I just found that it was boring. Like, you know, the yeah. when the legendary bounties came out, like, every week, I was excited to do them, but, like, the, when the legendary animals came out every week, I was like, ah, whatever. Like, I, I was just not as, um, uh, I was not as excited to do them. And Moonshiners had, like, this whole, like, you know, epic, like, storyline. The main story was actually pretty good for Moonshiners. But, um, uh, you know, for, and for Naturalist, it just... I, I just, I thought it was disappointing and I thought it was kind of boring. I agree I with you here. Point. I'm just trying, uh, you see, uh, my point is they, they've spent some time developing it because there were a lot of content, just not content that anyone was really asking for. But they, they, they developed it, they made it, they tested it, they spent time and resources on it. So it, it was like a big update, relatively big. So... Uh, if they were sp uh, spending this time and resources on something that players were actually asking, the players want, it would it would be completely different story for Red Dead Online right now. I'm pretty sure, because I, I guess the Naturalist update failed uh, hard uh, in financial meaning. So Rockstar. Uh, have not got the profits that they were expecting and from that point they decided you know to give less and less resources to red dead online because bounty hunters update is small uh, then we received like pretty much nothing and then blood money which is also small and now nothing at all so you and, know what what yeah what i think about that is i I, and I, I'll, I'll tell you this about Naturalist, and just tell me if you agree with this. I think that Naturalist would have been a fine DLC if it was 
part of something bigger. Yeah. If Naturalist was like like if Naturalist was part of like another Frontiers Pursuits update where they had like another role with that, if they had like one or two more roles with that and they had Naturalist in it, I think that then it would have been a fine DLC. But this Naturalist on its own, just by itself, I don't think that that was, you know, I don't think that, that was good. I don't think that that was a strong um a selling point and I think that um I think that Rockstar pretty much abandoned Red Dead Online I think in December of 2019. I think that's when it was uh, truly abandoned because um, uh, we received Moonshiners, which was in development beforehand before they decided to screw the game over. But um, I remember that September we had Frontiers for Suits and then December 2019 we had Moonshiners. And the thing is, though, is that we had one role in December where we had three roles in September and, and people were fine with it at the time because nobody expected Rockstar to make three roles mm -hmm. in just, what, um, uh, uh, like three months. You know, that's just, that's just, it's just not going to happen. So what, then I was thinking that, okay, you know, next summer we wait like, you know, half a year. We're going to get another Frontiers Pursuits. We're going to get like three rolls or two rolls uh, again. And we didn't get it. Um, uh, we instead got one roll. And I was like, wait, why? Why did we only get one roll? And then GT Online got a small update. You know, Naturalist was a little bit bigger of an update at that time because GT got, Online got the summer special. But then I was thinking, okay, okay, this is that's December, December 2020. We will actually get like another Frontiers Pursuits update. And instead, we didn't get it. We got um, a Bounty Hunter expansion, and GT Online got Kyo Perico, which arguably is literally 10 times bigger than um, uh, the Bounty Hunter expansion. I think that Rockstar saw the casino heist that came out in December 2019. They saw the amount of shark card money that they brought in. Yeah. They saw the microtransactions, and they said, wow, you know, doing this heist, like, you know, brought us a lot of money in. And then they looked at Reddit online, and they're like, yeah, Moonshiners didn't bring us that much money in. And then Take-Two Interactive was probably like, okay, just do, do focus on just GT Online right now. Make another heist, like another big heist even bigger than this. And that's where Cayo Perico came in. And so that's what I think ultimately happened. I think they compared the amount of money that Frontiers Pursuits and like, you know, the Casino Ice made them and Moonshiners. And they saw that GT Online was bringing in way more. And they said, okay, well, we're gonna screw this game over now. Well, it sounds like something that actually might have happened. But uh, first of all, you said that Naturalist update would do better if, if it was a part of a bigger update. I think yeah. that even if they just combined two update together, Naturalist and Bounty Hunters, it would be received very well. Because the biggest problem with Naturalist update is not even its size. It's just because it's obviously not something that people were asking for. It, it, it pissed off many players. Like, why do you give us these stupid mechanics? I, I'm gonna even show this stupid mechanic. Like, sedating animals. Like, who cares? We want heists. We want some action. Something like this. And if they would give us uh, uh, bo these bounty hunters update which is not not a big update not is it, it not gonna make you know naturalist update so much bigger but but it still will would be received so much better just because uh, there were different options for players like you if you want to go sedate animals and maybe hunt legendary animals if you if you don't want to go play this improved bounty hunter role because again Bounty Hunters is not a bad update, it's just really small. Uh, but it, it does some good uh, quality of life improvements, it uh, fixes it uh, finally, Bounty Hunter role, and from the least favorite role, it was the least favorite role for Red Dead Online players, according, not, not counting Naturalist obviously, but according to my votes, it became one of the most favorite roles. After um, they you know, introduces improved bounty hunter. So if these uh, two updates were together, I think they they would work much better. Uh, but s and uh, another thing you said, like they they watched how good uh, heists are performing. But then it leads us to a question: Why not make a heist in Red Dead Online, knowing that people like them and people are willing? To pay money, buy shark cards in GDN line or buy bolt bars in Red Dead uh, Online. Where is our heist? Like, people are asking for this for many years now. Where, where is it? Where is the it? The reason, um, the reason, I think, the reason they don't make a big heist on Red Dead Online is because 
with GTA Online, they know that if they put money into that and they make a big update on that, they're going to have a huge return on their investment. But they know that with um uh with G with Red Dead Online, that's a risk, mm -hmm. and so they don't want to take that risk. And so this is what um this is primarily I think the reason that they don't want to put time and effort into Red Dead Online because they know that they can make something on GTA Online if, even if they make a crap update on GTA Online they're still going to get a decent amount of money in shark card revenue but if they do something on Red Dead Online because it doesn't have the player base that it used to and because people are getting more and more you know fed up with the game that I don't think that they they don't think that they're going to have that much of um they're going to put time and effort into something that's not going to make them that much that as much money but what they don't understand is that it's going to take time to build up Reddit Online. It took time to build up GT Online. GT Online was a disaster when it first launched. It didn't become the game that it is today until like 2015, 2016. It's um, a one like heist where after. actually uh, introduced, yeah. right? It's the same time. Yep. Mm. Yeah, that, that, and that's what the, the players don't understand is they, they say that like, oh, you know, Reddit Online deserves to get screwed over because blah, 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 it's for good for business and it doesn't make that much money and GT Online is all this content. But what they don't understand is that GTA Online did not have all this content at launch. They act like it does because most of these players, they didn't even play at launch. They didn't even play right when the game came out. And they act like they're experts on the um, on GTA Online. But I remember when that game came out, it was a disaster. The servers were just buggy as hell. They would delete your characters. Um, the payouts were just garbage. There was no businesses. Um, uh, there was really not much to do. People were just grinding contact missions constantly. Contact missions and this races where they would just smash into each other. That's 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 all GT Online was. Like right when it launched, there was. And then I remember the the, the modders invaded like the PS3 and Xbox 360 lobbies, and then that was a bigger disaster. And, the, and I stopped playing the game for like almost a year because it just got so boring. Like I didn't even feel like playing GT Online. And then like when it came out on like the PS4, I actually started getting into it because the graphics were better at first person mode. And then Heist came out just a few months afterwards in March of 2015, and I started playing that again. And that's you know that's pretty much what had happened uh, there. Um, GT Online grew from there. They kept adding you know big updates, businesses, and it became the game it is today. And Reddit Online has that potential. It can become that game, but it's 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 not something that happens overnight. It's not something that's going to happen with one update. It's going to take updates and updates to uh to bring it to that point. I'm not saying it would pass GT Online, but it, I definitely think that it has potential to be a very successful game. And it's like you said, there are developers out there that would love to have an audience like the Reddit Online audience. That's like a ton of players still. Yeah. But um, uh, Rockstar just treats them like garbage and they say like, oh, you know, GT Online makes us, you know, the most amount of money. So we're going to screw over, you know, um, uh, Reddit Online. And just because Reddit Online is the smaller community does not mean it deserves to get screwed over. If you're going to make the argument that it's good for business that Reddit Online is getting screwed over, then you could also make it the argument that GTA 6 should not be released because Rockstar can just keep milking GT Online. Why put the time an effort into making GTA 6 when Rockstar can just keep milking um, a GTA Online, make an update every six months, collect a ton of microtransaction revenue from shark cards, and just re-release GTA 5 expanded and enhanced. Why, you know, put the effort into a new game when they could just do that and make plenty of money. So the people that say it's good for business that Reddit Online gets screwed over, they get usually they get pretty pissed off when you tell them that it's good for business that GTA 6 isn't coming out because they can Rockstar can just keep milking GTA Online. That's you know their same argument brought back to them. Uh actually you said that and you remind me of some something interesting uh i saw a post from test 2 like a few days ago and he's saying that since uh, playstation 4 was broken uh it it looks like according to his information pretty soon there will be modders on playstation 4 in GTA Online. He was speaking about GTA Online, but I, I think it's true about Red Dead Online as well. So, uh, if if it really will happen, if there will be modders, and like, you know, like it happened with PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, uh, Rockstar will either have to focus on expanded and enhanced next-gen console version, or like move on somehow move on from gta online because if uh, sessions will be uh, flooded with modders it it will be different kind of story for gta online so what do you think can history repeat here if uh if if modders actually show up on P in ps4 lobbies yeah. then Rockstar would have to fundamentally change something big in the game in order to just stop people from exploiting whatever it is that they're um, uh, 
exploiting in whatever system that they're breaking into. But um, uh, that would basically give like PS4 players like you know an experience of what PC is like on on um uh, on GT GT Online because PC GT Online is just a disaster. Just the amount of um uh, I uh, know <laughs> the amount of modders and cheaters. It's DDoSers, not only it's it's even worse. Like everyone can see your IP, even if he's not in the same lobby with you. So it's it's just terrible. I just don't understand why. Like, why is a developer that like has billions of dollars, one of the richest developers out there, has peer-to-peer -peer hosting is like beyond me. Like such cheap garbage servers for like one of the richest companies out there. It's just my God, how cheap are they? The answer is simple. They need all this money to purchase mobile game developer. That's it. They've been saving all this money, not investing into Red Dead Online, into GTA Online, not buying dedicated servers, not uh, purchasing some good anti-cheat system, to accumulate enough money to purchase company that makes mobile games. And I know that not all people uh, agree with me on my opinion about mobile games are not being a games writ like really so it's not like but but anyway it's just my point of view but i'm just saying that here here that's why they've been saved in money that's why now you can see it because say look i i've uh, listened to this investor's call and it's kind of interesting they are paying for zynga 13 billion dollars and as always happens in such cases like big portion they are paying in their own stock so they given them stock of take two right but one not like even one third around 35 36 percent they are paying them in cash so with real money and like it's, it's almost five billion dollars so they they accumulated five billion dollars maybe they are borrowing some some of the amount but uh but anyway they they invested all this money <laughs> into purchasing <laughs> zynga and uh, that's it they don't have enough money to because i agree with you like 100 percent here red dead online can be an insane success not not like an insane success but pretty pretty big success if they will invest some money into it some money some time and you know all this but they are not investing anything in Red Dead Online for many years now. Uh, it's like, it's, and it's not that even like insanely big numbers required uh, here. Insanely like billions of dollars. No, much smaller. But they decided not to do it, but rather invest all this into developing mobile games. It's their choice. But it's like, in my opinion, that's the answer to your question. Like, why don't we have dedicated servers that's why it's hard truth because they don't care about players but they care about i just saw actually one comment in a chat but it's, it's gone already but like rockstar is not interested in community they are interested in customers unfortunately that's true you know uh, dedicated servers is definitely good for community but is it great for uh getting more money from customers in my opinion yes but rockstar has different perspective but mobile games will bring them so much more customers i know uh, like uh, just in case you don't know guys uh, professional has 1 million subscribers so I'm pretty sure that every day he gets bombarded with his offers to promote some mobile trash. Like Yeah, I had gotten emails about that actually. Um uh I had gotten emails to promote that uh Raid Shadow Legends crap. Yeah, uh, like uh, once a month. I receive it for like, <laughs> like once a month constantly. But I, I've I'm... never done a promotion on my channel. The only time I would ever consider promoting any kind of product or service is something that I actually would use myself. Yeah, exactly. It's the only time I'd ever promote something. But the biggest thing is they don't actually ask you for a, like advertisement. Say, uh, at least f to me, uh, it looks like this. They ask you to say like, "Hey guys, go play with me in this mobile game, right?" But I'm not playing this mobile game, but. They are not gonna pay you money on other conditions. I I'm pretty sure that a lot of people seen this type of commercials. Anyway, why I decided to talk about it. Because 
Mobile games are extremely successful and their building is customer base. They don't care about communities, from what I see. It's not like traditional games. Uh, they, they, they see customers and they have customers. They don't care what people will will talk about them. Don't worry. And unfortunately, Rockstar is moving into this direction. They already see us as a customers, not as a community. So making mobile games is just a it's just a reasonable step for them, since they already have this type of a approach that usually uh, companies who make mobile games uh, is having. So it's it's actually pretty sad in my opinion. But um, but yeah, nothing we can do. Cat cat decided to clean up. Uh, so. About this movement, like I do, I know it's uh, about save rather than line. I know it's a not, you know, cool thing to say, but eventually it will slow down. Is I, I in my I, I actually was surprised that it was trending for so long. I was not expecting uh, rather than line community to be so united, and it's uh, I'm really proud of the community. But anyway, it will uh, slow down. What what do you think will happen? People will still post uh, save Red Dead Online uh, hashtag uh, under Rockstar m media posts like even a month ago or it will just disappear or what what will happen with, uh, with this movement? Your prediction? I think that uh, that Rockstar is just, I think personally Rockstar is probably going to keep ignoring it. If anything, if they do somehow respond, it's going to be just a a large uh, they'll post information about a large update on the news wire but they uh they're not going to acknowledge the save red and online thing they're gonna act like that had nothing to do with it i mean they had the remember that in 2020 uh they had you you did the clown movement um that was like a lot of people picked up on that and uh then like i think two weeks afterwards naturalist was announced and um uh, i think that that had some impact on it but i don't yeah. but they never admitted to it they never did yeah but uh you... I'm not uh, talking about Rockstar, because, yeah, I agree with you, they will probably stick to this strategy. I'm talking about community, what do you think will happen? Will this hashtag stay strong in a month from now, or there will be only few people posting it, or, like, what what, what will happen? If people, keep tw if people keep tweeting it, I think it can go on for weeks and weeks. Um, uh, you know, it's gonna lose some, 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 uh, some focus o over time, but... I think that it can. This can go on for some time. What is it? How long has it been now? A week and a half since this thing started. Yeah, Weeks? since th uh, last Thursday. Since ten days now. Oh. Ten days. Okay, it's so almost impressive. two weeks at this point. Really and impressive. It's still it's still going strong. So yeah, if it's going strong for ten days, I think that it can go strong for a month. Then, uh, I think it can definitely get to it. It's just and the YouTubers are helping it a lot. Also yeah. by um and YouTubers and like people on Twitter. Are helping it a lot to just uh, spread it around everywhere. I don't know. Did you see my meme that I made the other day by any chance? Yeah, uh, the ones that you posted today. The the cartoon one. No, I haven't. I j just saw the picture, but haven't. When seen. you get um uh when you get a chance, you should check that one out. Okay. I wouldn't play it on I the stream memes. because you might get a copyright <laughs> claim for it. But um uh, but it's 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 pretty good. It's the one where I wrote this sums up what's happening on Reddit online, and mm -hmm. <laughs> people really like that one. <laughs> I will take a look, because meme, memes are always fun, and memes actually delivering message pretty good uh, nowadays, better than posts in my opinion. Just because memes are fun, and everyone loves when something is fun. But actually, you know what? Uh, another statement. I I'd like to hear your opinion uh, about like if some company wanted the game to trend for ten days, not the biggest game, by the way, not the biggest game on the market. They would have to spend enormous amount of money, uh, like a lot of money, and not and succeed. Success will will not be guaranteed. But here, rocks are receiving this basically free advertisement it's insane they're receiving all this free advertisement and they just don't want to do anything about it they they could you know they could take advantage of this situation turn all this hype into profit for themselves but they're not doing it but like why can, can you 
Can you give me an explanation? Because I know not communicating they... with audience is one thing when you're not getting like too much of visible profit from it. But here is a pretty clear situation. You can make money. Just do the right thing. But they still ignoring. They 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 don't want to put the time and effort into Reddit Online because making updates for Reddit Online will be much more challenging than for GTA Online. Because GTA Online they have so many of these updates and a massive player base. When in Reddit Online they would need to build it up over time, even with this hype. And so they're it's basically laziness. They don't want to put the effort in when they see that they could just put um less effort into GTA Online and they could just milk that, make more money. But uh, yeah, but it, it, you you're talking about scenario in which they decided to abandon Red Dead Online. But you also mentioned second scenario in which they will uh, tell us about some sort of an update, like in in some time from now, or maybe when it will be ready. But anyway, in my opinion, even if the second uh, scenario is true and they really have some plans for Red Dead Online. They will still not say anything right now or in the near future, just because they rock star. And I don't understand like this type, any logic behind this behavior. Like I'm sorry, I don't see any reasons for them not to. So th that was I was uh, asking your opinion about like even because just like with the clown movement, right? They responded in more than a week and pretend like it's not related at all and if they have some plans for it that online now i'm pretty sure that uh, that's what will happen when the hype will slow down they will make some announcement they don't want to use this hype don't want to use all this free promotion and i i see no reasons why actually not not a single one I think it's because people would probably expect more updates from them on Reddit Online and they don't want to put the time and effort into making more updates on it. They just want to focus on just GTA Online. And it's kind of, you know, when you think about it, you know, Rockstar has kind of scammed people with Red Dead Online because of the fact that they promised back in like 2019 that there was like there's going to be massive support on this game and they're going to have a ton of roles and they kind of tease properties in a way. Um, and uh, they also released like Red Dead Online standalone. And when they released Red Dead Online standalone, people bought it assuming that this game would be supported for years yeah. and years to come. And so they were, they buy this game. You know, when did standalone came out? That came out, you know, that that, that, that came out months ago, but it wasn't yeah. okay. So, um, uh, oh, last December. Last so December. It's, um, uh, yeah. Okay, so then it's been out for what a month now, and it's um uh, and people people are buying the standalone. And it's when people are buying the standalone, they assume that the game is going to be supported for years and years to come. They purchase this, and no, it's not. They're getting no no content support on the game. So basically, purchasing this game for no support. I mean, they if there's if it's new player, then they're going to have some things to do. They'll have like the roles and stuff, but eventually they're going to run out of content pretty quickly. Yeah, I, I agree with you that like uh, if something was a you know false advertisement, it's uh, standalone. Because, uh, yeah, when they released Red Dead Online, they promised a lot, but it's a part, it was a part of Red Dead Redemption 2. Awesome games that you're definitely not gonna regret buying anyways. But, uh, so, who cares what they promised about Red Dead Online specifically. But as for standalone, it, it really looks not, not cool. To really stand alone to sell it yes even with a discount and after that basically forget about this game because standalone was released uh, at the same time when uh, bounty hunters update so people who bought standalone they saw only one update after that and it's blood money and that's it so it doesn't looks like a good investment uh, yeah obviously you need to pay five bucks only but still people are purchasing online games with hopes that they will develop uh, in the future so there will be more but not not happened with red dead online not happening at least right now so yeah i agree about this kind of false adv ad advertisement about uh, standalone at least and actually standalone also looks abandoned you know what I mentioned? Uh, that they giving uh, discounts on 
Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode way more often than on standalone. And it was a situation, uh, kind of funny situation, like a few months ago. Uh, with my regional prices, at some point Red Dead Redemption 2 was cheaper than Red Dead Online standalone. So, and much cheaper, like. And yeah, it, 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 it used weird. to be four ninety nine, and what's now? It's fifteen bucks now, I think. Uh, who? Uh, for a standalone. Twenty. Twenty dollars for a standalone. Yeah, without okay. discount. If it's twenty dollars, then. If it's twenty dollars, that is such a scam because you could go on eBay and you could find like what Red Dead, um, uh, Red Dead Redemption Two, the whole game, including single player, which is a masterpiece, for around the same the same amount or even less. I mean, you can wait for a discount uh, and buy it like for twenty five bucks in most regions, Red Dead Redemption Two, and receive story plus the same online. So yeah. Uh, I actually, actually, you know what, I I made a video at some point and which I was saying that this price of 20 bucks is not uh, justified. It's it's no, like, you shouldn't buy Red Dead Online for 20 bucks. If you want to play Red Dead Online, okay, at some, like, 4, 5 dollars, buy Red Dead Redemption 2. This price makes no sense without discount. I uh, see Red Dead Redemption 2 for Xbox One right now. The whole game, nineteen seventy one, nineteen dollars yeah. and seventy one cents. So yeah, that's that that and also PS four, nineteen ninety nine, the whole game. So it's it's literally that that is just for on eBay and that that shows you just how much the standalone is a scam. So you could just purchase the whole game for twenty dollars and have this massive single player campaign with that, or you can purchase just the online for twenty dollars. That just shows you just how much it's um uh yeah. Yeah, I saw a lot of comments, uh, at least three, that it's 10 bucks now on eBay and uh, discount is 10 bucks, it's with discount 10 bucks on Steam. I'm not quite sure what is 10 bucks, what worth 10 bucks. Maybe Red Dead Online also have a discount. Steam offline code? That's, that's, I think that's what people are talking about for $10 on eBay, but I, I don't know what that is. Ah. I, I know what Steam code is, but yeah. I don't know what a Steam offline code is. You just um, put this code in, in Steam and you receive a game. At least I bought games this way. <clears throat> and so some of them. But yeah, look, it, it's... Uh, you know, it looks to me uh, that they abandoned Red Dead Online even in, in from this perspective. They don't even care will someone buy standalone or not, and they don't care about it for a long time actually. And it's it's quite unfortunate because releasing a game, <clears throat> I'm talking about standalone, and not uh, and forgetting about it like a few months ago is not something that good companies do let's say good companies but uh <clears throat> so uh an another like question of your prediction what what do you think what do you think uh will happen to red dead online i know there, there are different options but like one year from now how do you see red dead online in 2023 either it will have Two year, a year from now, yeah, I could see that Red Dead Online is gonna have either two big updates, <laughs> or it's going to have just ba barely nothing, and less and less players will be playing it. So you you see this like different polar options, either like big updates that really make a comeback, or nothing at all, not even these smaller pathetic updates like. Uh, blood money and something like that. We might like have this. like another blood money, but it's gonna be like I said, it'll be another blood money. It'll just be a disaster. It'll be a joke. It'll be Rockstar saying, "Oh, see, we care about the game. Here's some, here's Blood Money Part Two or something else." When it's it's a garbage DLC. Mm hmm. Yeah, I actually agree with you. I don't think that they will continue making this 
smaller updates that no one really likes because what's the point of wasting any any energy on it uh, so i i also think that there will be either nothing at all or like something like extremely small uh, even smaller than blood money or something bigger i'm not saying huge updates but you know something that we can call an update finally but um we will we will obviously see um, and as for sorry i'm trying to give this legendary pelt to a stranger and it's always hard like always hard and uh as for take two and their plans what 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 do you think like it's more general question what do you think they will focus on mobile gaming now and it's gonna be a next next step or they will continue making uh single player games i think they'll still make some single player games because they make them does make them a lot of money but um uh, i think that there's always going to be some type of incentive to just milk online like people are just you know i remember people keep talking about bully too that they won't really want that game to come out but uh, that might be one of the reasons that it hasn't come out yet or that hasn't even been talked about because it would be purely a single player focus and if they could show, uh, shove some kind of online feature into it, they probably would if given the chance. Yeah. Oh. Now the question is like, I'm pretty sure a lot of uh, viewers are curious, like what what will you personally do about this save red dead online hashtag movement will you still use it on the rockstar post so like what 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 do you think oh i'll st i'll keep using it as long as i can as long as like the large amount of the community keeps doing it i'll keep doing it like i have no plans to to stop it anytime soon i'll i'm not just gonna spam it for like no reason like i just um uh, like whenever i make a tweet or something anything related to red dead redemption 2 i do hashtag save red dead online I've done like three videos talking about it, and when anything changes, um, uh, I will have like another um, update video on that. And uh, and here is another question, like uh, not not like a question, statements that I see quite often uh, in uh, in comments, especially like you lost, you, you personally or you as a community, Rockstar won. Like, wh what do you think about this? I I I really don't care about their comments like that because it's it's um uh i who says that i lost who says that we lost like you know who's to say that specifically because even if there even if there is no update coming out even if rockstar does not listen whatsoever to this it's still accomplishing something and the people that say you lost cannot deny that and that's that this is hurting and damaging their credibility and reputation as a company and so uh if this hashtag is going to make their company look like garbage then you know so be it because what they're doing is just unfair and they deserve to be criticized for it. If they're treating their uh, one of their communities like this, they're just completely neglecting their game. They're never responding to their fans. Then uh, this hashtag is going to cause them like you know um, problems. It's going to hurt their reputation, their credibility. More media are going to talk about this. Investors might get pissed off, might drop their stock price. Um, uh, so that's you know that's something that it is accomplishing. You know even the you know that's something that you cannot deny at that point. And also I would ask back to these people, the people that say you lost, like you know get over it. I would say back to them, why are you saying that? Like, why? Like, you think about it, like, what is their incentive for that? Why are they saying that to people? You lost, get over it. Like, why are they going out of their way? Because most people that don't care about this, they say, oh, I don't, I don't care about Reddit Online, whatever. But they're actually going out of their way to actually post comments saying, oh, you know, Rockstar's a business, and therefore they're doing the right thing for business. Or you lost, get over it. You know, wh wh why are they doing stuff like this? I, I don't want to get into conspiracies <laughs> or anything. I don't, I, I, I don't want to get into conspiracies or anything, but I think that there's some other motives here. I think that the people that say, like, you know, get over it, you lost. I think that those people usually are hardcore GTA Online players, and they feel like GTA, GTA Online would possibly be neglected, or GTA Online would get less updates if Reddit Online was to get support. So they're basically attacking Red Dead players. They, they also might be, like, you know, really hardcore fanboys. They might be people that, like, don't... um. Uh, uh, that don't like Red Dead Redemption 2 at all because even when I played the single player back when it came out I had like a, a lot of really dumb comments and usually these were comments from kids 
and they were like, you know, comments that were just basically saying like, oh, you know, Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2 sucks, all you do is just ride around on a horse all day, this game is boring, it has no automatic weapons, has no cars, has no planes, I've seen comments like this. So it's just, there's, um, uh, it might be because of that, because they hate this game, and they don't understand why people like it, they don't understand why YouTubers that they watch like it, and so they get pissed off when they see this game, and they, they resort to this, like, you know, just, uh, you know, you lost, get over it, and stuff like that. Well, I tell them then, then I can say to them, you lost, you're not getting GTA 6, because Rockstar is just constantly milking GTA Online, because usually these same people are constantly, um, standing for a GTA 6 and all the other stuff. Actually, I agree with you on that point, that, like, uh, if any anyone is losing, might lose in this game, it's only Rockstar. I mean, they can win and they can lose. Uh, it's my point of view, but I think that we as a community, we're not really losing, even if we will be ignored. It's not like a, a something that can be defined as loss, l l you know, uh, because yeah, we love this game, we, we we showed this, but like, if there is nothing we can really do if Rockstar will decide to ignore it. So, yeah, I, I guess community will have to move on. Uh, but with that being said, if, if Rockstar will neglect, like, publicly and ignore all this stuff and neglect uh, Red Dead Online, what, what else people will have to to do except like move into the some other game and be passionate about this other game if, if there is some some game it's hard to find because like it's hard to compare other games to Red Dead Online in my opinion but you know if there is nothing to do on the other hand I think that Rockstar will lose not only because they will lose such a great community and such a big uh, potential for the game but also I guess it it will affect if they will ignore Red Dead Online, save Red Dead Online completely. It will affect uh, GTA Online as well. I I just think that it's not gonna do any good to GTA Online too. So what you said about uh, this uh, hardcore fans of GTA Online who play only GTA Online and therefore, uh, you know. Uh, given advice to give up on this movement and don't like this movement i don't think that there will be no benefits for them as well because it should affect gd online and all other rockstar property properties if they will like completely ignore such a big movement because it's not even it's not actually about red dead online anymore it's about uh, your relationships between between company and the community and it's not cool to show that you don't care to such point than when people are making this hashtag trending for more than a week you still not gonna answer i i just think it's uh it should have some consequences not only in red dead online but okay well, this statement what do you think if they will ignore it completely will it affect gta online and profits from this game somehow or no or there will be no differences it might affect it a little bit but not a lot because at the same time is you see that a lot of these the people a lot of the red dead players like you said play gta online like at times like maybe not a lot or barely but they still play gta online and so a lot of these like save red dead online you know uh, fans they might get if rockstar continues to keep ignoring them they might get so pissed that they're they're not even going to play gta online at all just to show their dissatisfaction with rockstar and that's going to make gta online's player count go down as well that's what a lot of gta online players aren't factoring that in that red a lot of red dead players play gta online and if you piss off a lot of the red dead players they might not necessarily go to play gta online also they might just basically say screw it you know i'm not touching any rockstar games and that might make the overall player base go down and so that might have an effect you might see some shark card sales go down and you might see like you know steam charts and other things that show like you know players uh that's that could possibly go down as well Actually, yeah, I mean, uh, like, personal story, I know it's uh, it's not necessarily a tale about other players, but, like, I, I s sometimes, time to time, I like to stream GTA Online, right? But since all this stuff began, I have not done a single GTA Online stream, just because I don't feel about, I, do, I just don't want to stream this game not because i even don't like this game anymore but because of rockstar and their behavior so i decided to kind of move to uh rp instead 
so it's like basically the same GTA online, but with with some benefits because there are dedicated servers. I get you. Uh, I understand. Um, I get you on that. Um, and I think like that Iron many Earth players that... will do something like this. Yeah. I think that, like, you know, people have asked me about this before, and like, you know, people say if you know if we stop playing Red Dead Online, then Rockstar is going to make an update, but. I don't necessarily think that, like, stopping playing Reddit Online, I don't think that that's going to um, uh, help, because if anything, Rockstar will see less people are playing mm -hmm. Reddit Online, they won't see that the, the GTA numbers are that affected, and so they they just, they just will decide to screw over Rocks, uh, Reddit Online even more. I think that what could make a difference is, I think, if everybody stops buying microtransactions. If everyone stops buying shark cards, if everyone stops buying gold bars, and then spam like you know the the hashtag, you know save Reddit online, I think that might have an impact. But at the same time, is I can't really see GTA online players, or G, or I should say GTA online only players. I can't really see them doing something like that on the behalf of less or in bulk, on exactly. the behalf of like you know Red Dead players. Yeah, so, so, because I saw a lot of comments like this as well, uh, like, well, we should protest in some other ways. The save Red Dead Online cannot achieve anything. We should uh, make some hashtag like uh, don't play uh, Red Dead Online or don't play GTA Online or don't buy share cards. But uh, unfortunately, I don't see that like too many players will decide to stop buying shark cards if they are buying them right now right because of some hashtag it's a, it's a kind of different story so uh yeah it, it would definitely get some attention from rockstar but it's just there is no way that any sort of a movement any sort of a hashtag in my opinion can achieve that result because people who are buying shark cards they will continue buying them any anyways so I, I I think it's just delusional to think that uh, we can decrease their sales dramatically maybe uh, maybe somehow but not to the to the big to the big degree so from from what I can tell, you are pretty optim not not real optimistic right now about the future of Red Dead Online, right? And well, about I'm, the future of Rockstar. I, you know, I'm kind of like, it depends on what. Like, unlike the future of Red Dead Online, I don't, I wouldn't say that I'm that optimistic. I'm hopeful that they will change something, but I'm very optimistic on Save Red Dead Online. Mm. So on the, the hashtag, I'm very optimistic on that. I support that fully. I've been tweeting it a bunch. Um, uh, I've been talking about it in my videos, three videos on it already talking about it. And, um, uh, and I will keep supporting this hashtag because it's like um, uh, when I made that video, like I made that video a month ago before the hashtag even said, I said that, you know, that if these videos get enough attention and stuff like that, even if they don't encourage Rockstar to make another update, it's going to hurt the credibility and reputation of their company and take to interactive. And so that's at least accomplishing something in my eyes. If they're going to screw this game over, if they're not going to be honest with their fans, if they're not going to tell their fans that, you know, we're not going to make content for this game, then I'm just going to keep criticizing them. And I'm just going to keep making videos on this and I'm going to keep promoting this hashtag just like other people are. And hopefully that actually hurts their like um, their sales. It hurts their um, uh, their stock. I hope that that, that does something like that because they deserve it. They deserve to be criticized. And I'm not calling for anyone to harass any kind of developer or anything like that. That's wrong. But like um, the company itself as a reputation, the, their company's reputation deserves to be criticized. Because it's just um, uh, the people at the top, the bosses, have just are such scumbags, which is what they've done. And so I think that this is um, uh, this is accomplishing something. Okay, so uh, the last question, but it's uh, quite interesting. When you're talking about because when you're talking about the bosses and people who are in charge, uh, like what do you mean exactly? Because there are two point of views that I've seen. Like one people are saying that oh no, don't touch Rockstar. They have nothing to do with all the problems. It's all on take two. And the second point of view is, uh, well, they are pretty much the same. So what, what side do you choose in here? In this? Uh, I, my point of view is that it's both of them. It's both Rockstar and Take-Two. I don't, like, you saw that video that I made a month ago. Uh, in that video, I said that I don't know how much of it is on Take-Two Interactive mm -hmm. and Rockstar, but I know there's some 
some part. I think both of us can agree that some some part is played by both sides. We don't know how much. Obviously, one side is playing more, is has more influence than the other. But um, I decided to criticize both of them in the video because I don't know exactly how much influence um, each of them has on these decisions. But um, I will tell you that I know for a fact that publishers oftentimes ruin games because publishers are just the people that want to, you know, they're publishing the game. They oftentimes don't know that much about the game. They just, the only thing they know is that they know a certain series brings in a lot of money. And so oftentimes the publishers, um, how greedy they are, they will rush out a game or they'll tell developers, like, you know, make this specific type of content. And, we, you know, we can see that from history, like with EA, for instance, like how many times has EA, like, rushed a game out or done something stupid um, just to try to make money? Like, um, uh, and the developers go along with it because they have no choice. But at the same time is Rockstar Games. Rockstar are the people that are in charge of um, uh, the Newswire. They are fully in charge of the Newswire. Take-Two Interactive is not in charge of that. That is Rockstar. You know, how hard is it for Rockstar to make a simple post in the Newswire saying, we still care about this game. We still support this game, and we will support uh, this game no matter what. Do not do not worry about that, guys. Is that really that hard for them to do, just to make a simple post, like yeah. reassuring players? And, like, it, it, this is the same thing going back with the GT Online fanboys. When the GT Online fanboys were just coming in, and they were just saying that, oh, you know, you Red Dead players are just causing drama for nothing and you don't know what you're talking about and like they're still going to make updates Red Dead Online is fairly supported why are you criticizing Rockstar and blah 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 this well you know my response to that is if they want to reassure their fans that they still care how hard is it to make one post even one paragraph they don't even have to have a picture but just one paragraph just saying that we still support this game and we have big updates coming this year is that really that hard um, for them to do like so Call of I Duty that... did have you seen it Warzone yeah. posted something like this no 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 specific just one post no pictures uh, and uh, that's it like w we know we can we know your we've heard about your concern we understand your feelings uh we're walking that's basically yeah, I don't know why I don't know why it's so hard for them to yeah. uh, to do that as a as a developer and so I know that there there are developers out there that definitely want to work on Red Dead Online I mean there's people that have like put sweat uh, so much sweat and tears into like making like Red Dead Redemption yeah. 2 they've they've been developing that game for so t so much time and it probably breaks their hearts that they wanted to make content for Red Dead Online and they're unable to because the bosses are just telling them no don't so like I can imagine that working on this great awesome western game for some time and then and being told that I can't work on it any longer because it's not profitable enough for them. That, that that would break my heart. So I know that there's developers, like the average developer, the average person that like sits at their desk and like, you know, helps to make these updates and stuff like that. You know, they ultimately, you know, do not have that really any blame on that. They just, they're doing whatever they're told to do by the bosses, like the CEOs, the people, the people at the top, like um, uh, the people at the top of Rockstar, like what Dan Hauser, Dan Hauser definitely, um, uh, uh, which which one is it that which one is it that left? Which Hauser brother was it that left again? It was, no, it was Sam. Uh, wait, no, it was Dan Hauser that left, right? Sam I is think still yes. there. I think okay, I'm, Dan I'm left. getting it mixed up. I'm sorry. So it, it, Sam Hauser then. Sam Hauser is still there. Okay, then Sam Hauser has some blame for this because it's like he's one of the top people there at Rockstar. You know, he knows what's going on with Rockstar. So, like, you know, the good developers, Dan Hauser has left, you know, Leslie Benzies has left, Laszlo has left. So, you know, the people that made Rockstar for what they are, they've, they're gone. And, like, you know, you have Sam Hauser there, which I don't even know what the hell Sam Hauser is doing anymore at this point. And then you have, like, a, you know, a bunch of probably new people that, that have only been brought in in the last few years. So, it's, um... Uh, He's chilling with DJs. He's chilling with DJs, I'm pretty sure. And all and this cool you have music. Take-Two Interactive, and you have that scumbag Strauss Zelnick, who he just, oh my god, that guy, like, he just, he talks about how players are ready to pay $70 for games. He literally said that. He said, players are ready to pay $70 for games because um, uh, you developers put more time and resources into games. I'm but sorry, I have to interrupt you, you here, into? but I, you not ready to pay $70 for GTA 6? Because what, I me? think he's correct in this particular case, like, People will pay 60, 70 bucks for GTA 6. Yeah, I mean, peop, peop, people will pay $70, but it's not something that, you know, people are, you know, it, it, the, the thing is, though, is, like, with that, like, he says people are ready to pay $70 for, like, new games, but it, because they put yeah. time and effort into them. But what about, like, your games right now? Like, you, you barely put any support into, like, um, uh, you barely put any support into Reddit Online. And on top of that, what it, it, it's Take Two Interactive that owns the NBA games, right? They own one of the sport yeah. games. I think Take Take Two they own the basketball. Yeah. NBA so 2K. Like, I don't, yeah. Okay. So look, I don't even play the basketball games, 
But I can tell you, even playing the, even not even playing the basketball games, I look at them and I see that they release these games every year. And they even do it worse than Call of Duty, where at least Call of Duty has somewhat of a different setting every year or something different or a, a different story or something. Um, but it's like with NBA, they just do the same thing like every year. Every year they do the same thing. And it's like just the microtransactions in these games push, and it's a basketball game. So you can only do so much, but do you really need a basketball game like every single year? And they're constantly milking that and then telling people, oh, you're ready to pay $70 for this. So you're ready to pay $70 a year later for another game with what, a few more players and you know some more basketball moves? Like I, 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 I don't understand their- that, But it works with FIFA, to... it works with other. F FIFA does the same every year, same game pretty much. Um, just printing money, basically. So, I mean, as long as people are willing to pay this money every day, they, as a business, I guess they should do it. So, uh, it's a, actually, it's an interesting topic. I promise that will be last question, but I have another question for you because we can't mention this. A lot, it's another pretty common comment that I see. People are saying like, don't care, Rockstar don't care about you, your movement and all this stuff, you as a community, obviously, just because when they will announce GTA 6, you will forget everything and run to make a pre-order. What, what do you think about this one? I think, I think to an extent it's true that there are people that like, you know, if Rockstar does release like GTA um, uh, 6, you know, they, they say, oh, you know, you can pre-order it now. A lot of people will pre-order it. A lot of people will start talking about this and this, this movement will just not gain as much attention. But the thing is, though, is I've been consistent in criticizing this exact same thing. If you watch, you remember, you saw my video that I made for like an hour, that's an hour long, where I talked about how Rockstar mm -hmm. killed it. Um, and I said this exact point in the video, and I said that people were ranting about GTA Expanded and Enhanced. They were ranting about the GTA tri Trilogy, the Definitive Edition. And these were legitimate rants, don't get me wrong. But the second that Rockstar announced GTA Online, the contract DLC, and they announced like, you know, Franklin and Lamar and the, these characters were coming back and all this, and there's gonna be like a story to this. People got so excited. So almost all the comments before that I saw towards Rockstar were like negative. People saying like, oh, you know, you suck for expanding and enhance, you know, what are you doing with the GTA trilogy? It's a disaster. And all of a sudden, I, the next day, I just see all positive comments of just people just saying like, oh, you know, I'm so excited for Franklin and everything. like. That. And I actually called it out. I said that in like, when I reacted to it, like, like I said, you know, people are getting so happy about this, but all of a sudden, like, all the negative attention is just gone all of a sudden now. And people were attacking me for it, but they're like, but it's Franklin and everything like that. I'm like, okay, fine, it looks cool. But at the same time, it's like you people were saying, like, just a few days ago that 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 Rockstar is such a, such a crappy company. And all of a sudden, now you're just... So I, I do agree to an extent that people are hypocrites, is that they, you know, they, they will just jump on GTA 6 right when that comes out. But the thing is, though, is I'm not even, you know really excited for GTA 6. I have plenty of other games to play and also the fact how crappy of a developer Rockstar has been in recent years like you know it does not make me that excited for GTA 6 and GTA 6 could have some kind of disasters in it. I mean imagine if GTA 6 has gl a ton of glitches at launch. I can't imagine how horrible that would be. It can so be. That's just, uh, but still you will buy it like I I will buy it. You you will too. Yeah we'll buy it. I'll buy it. So I, I, I will get it like right when it comes out but it's yeah. like so I'm maybe like these people have like a Rockstar point. Fanboy. Yeah, like saying that Rockstar can afford any type of behavior just because, like, still people will go and buy GTA 6. And that's why Rockstar actually behaves this way, because they know it. Uh, so it's actually an interesting situation. Because I, I clearly see that GTA 6 will be pre-ordered on insane rate. And yeah, this game might have a problems because Rockstar is not the same company that it used to be uh, for many different reasons. But still, it will be a financial success on, uh, uh, you know, extreme, extreme level of financial success. So, um, and, and uh, what you just replied actually confirms this theory a little bit. That it already happened with uh, contract DLC. So what do you think? Can history repeat in this situation? And if so, well, maybe Rockstar are not... I, I still think they 
they make an I important decision. I think that's a bit different because I think that with, with the contract DLC, there was that, and people got excited. But if if Rockstar was to announce another GTA Online update now, sure you'd have some hype. But you have a ton of people that would still spam on that like uh, that update, like Newswire posts, like the Twitter posts, saying like hashtag Save Red and Online. If it was like GTA 6 that got announced, I don't think you would see as much of the Save Red and Online thing. But if it's like another GTA Online update, and oh boy, the the mm. the GTA Online fanboys are gonna get pissed when uh, when uh, when the next GTA Online update gets like announced or whatever, and like you're gonna see the amount of spam. That's gonna be from save Reddit online. So honestly, the people the people that defend GTA Online and just say Reddit Online gets screwed over. I hope they get pissed when they see like the um uh, the save Reddit Online uh, thing because these are I don't understand like you know sucking up to and de defending a multi billion dollar company that could care less about you. Yeah, and um, I agree with you on this. That basically, uh, uh, on a smaller updates. Uh, not updates on the smaller products like uh, updates for GTA Online, like uh, and expanded and enhanced. There will be big difference. Not maybe not big, but some visible difference uh, because of Rockstar behavior. And and they actually should think about this as well because it's also money after all, right? And as you already said, it's it's worth nothing to post. To make one post with explaining the situation and trying to be honest with the community, right? It's 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 not like you need to pay something to do it, but for some reasons I decided not to. Anyway, uh, thanks to everyone. Oh, I should look at the camera. I forgot. Thanks to anyone who joined uh, this conversation. Uh, thanks to anyone who already placed a like. We had a lot of viewers today and al almost have 900 likes. So. I hope that Rockstar will actually change their mind and stop ignoring the save red that online movement. But in any way, as you've heard, professional will continue, I will continue, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of you will also continue posting something when we see something related to Red Dead Online or something from Rockstar on Twitter. So thanks, Patrick, for visiting. Uh, thanks for sharing no your Thank thoughts. You for me. Yeah, see, see you next time. See you next time.